My name is Shelter Sarah, and today we're at Mana Contemporary in Jersey City. I grew up in Northern California in a small town called Bolinas, between there and San Francisco. And I came to New York after going to graduate school at Rhode Island School of Design. As early as I can remember, I remember playing with like Legos and my mom's like paints, and you know, always was part of life. During high school, I got into skateboarding and doing graffiti art in San Francisco, and so I always had a notion that there was, you know, street art, but fine art was something that I knew through the relationship to my uncle, but it wasn't something that I really considered until, until I was in university in Santa Cruz, and I took a, a drawing class, and that drawing class really kind of opened up my eyes. The Game Over drawings that I did came out of an interest in um, this increasing world of the computer and cyberspace and how people kind of punch out to this other reality. I think that that diversity or polarity between real life and the cyber kind of world is something that the Game Over series tried to highlight. The Dark Castles come out of a series that I've been doing that relates to the Disney Castle. And the Disney Castle was something that was borrowed by Walt Disney from New Schwanstein. And it's a Bavarian castle from the 1600s. But it was the first castle that was made actually not by an architect, it was made by a theater designer. And in some places the castle is dark and foreboding and not really inviting. And I think it's interesting how American culture has borrowed that European motif of the castle and turns it into an image where dreams come true is, is what happens at Disneyland. Another product that I made that kind of turned into something bigger than it was is the, the fake Rolly. And I had this idea to um, make you know this fake Rolex watch into something that was uh, wearable. For some reason or another, you know, it's really caught on in the fashion world. And people kind of like that notion of an object that has no function. Lately, I've been working on a series of maps. Conceptually, the map, I think, is an extension of one's environment, and people map their daily experience. So I've taken maps from all parts of the world and you know, interlaid them and taken out information and added information and changed the colors so it starts to become an abstract version of our reality. And I'm very interested in that, that view, that, that omnipotent view of, from above. I've done a few projects for uh, fashion companies just on the side. Fashion brands always look towards artists for new ideas. Beauty and consumption and advertising all kind of come together in that world. This is a project for um, somebody's birthday and it's a painting of um, C-3PO as Moses. So I thought it'd be interesting to make a hybrid. And at first it was going to be a sculpture. I kind of chose to paint half of it and part of it was printed. So the painting now has become kind of a hybrid. Something like this, once it's begun, it's going to be how I want it to be. If there's mistakes or ac accidents that happen along the way, I think that always adds to it. It's just difficult anticipating um, when to stop. You know, if you challenge somebody's kind of daily routine or what they perceive as being part of their world, yeah, that might upset some people. I think in Japan they call it black humor. Manipulate it, extend it to a certain degree, change you know, the function of the original object and not take away from the original's integrity. I think it's fine. The artist's role is to make change happen. You know, to make people, you know, look at things closer and by, you know, changing the rules, progress goes on. I think I focus on some aspects of consumerism and objects of desire because everything to a certain degree in this world has been created for a need. I think by copying or reproducing something and taking it out of one context and changing maybe the size or scale, it calls attention to the original purpose or meaning. Object making, um, it goes on and on.